Hey everyone, Jalan Sneer. It's very sunny. Today we're in San Angelo, Texas. Yes, San Angelo, Texas, which is about four hours west of Dallas. Kind of in the middle of nowhere, but you know what I'm saying. Here I do a taco eating contest. So this is a $500 taco eating contest. First place prize is $500. Second place wins some kind of prize back and third and so on. So we're at My Tacos Locos or Tacos Locos, um, which is pretty much you can see right here. It's like a half restaurant, kind of half food truck kind of going on. But it looks really cool. Um, so yeah, pretty much I think there's going to be 10 or so contestants. Um, it was $25 to register, to enter. Uh, you don't get that back if you win, but again, the winner gets $500. Um, it's going to be a five minute taco eating contest. Whoever eats the most tacos in five minutes. They are an El Pastor taco being, um, you know, shaved off the uh, tr trum trumbo, 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 I think it's called. Um, which is like the big uh, meat, the big spit, which you can, you know, see like in Mexican uh, cuisine uh, down in Mexico, etc. And this is supposed to be very, very authentic. And El Pastor, if you're not familiar with pork, the tacos are going to start with 20, then they're going to bring 10 additional at a time and uh, you do not have to dress them if you don't want to. But anyway, that's about that. So with that, everybody, let's, uh, let's have some fun. Let's eat some food, five minutes. That's about it. It's a short contest, but uh, hopefully we can pull some cash. We did drive all the way here for it. So uh, yeah, but happy to be in Texas. I was in San Angelo for a burger contest last year. Now here for a, a, a taco contest. So let's go eat some food, let's have fun. Let's eat. Hey everyone, real quick, I want to thank sponsors this video being Sanctuary, yes, Sanctuary. The Sanctuary is built for the socially conscious consumer, actually helping to raise awareness and money for endangered species. So each scent is inspired by an at-risk animal and tells a unique story in an effort to help save them from extinction. The proceeds of each scent will be donated to organizations whose mission is actually to save these endangered animals. So the scent I got today is the Javan Rhino. It's a woodsy, creamy blend notes such as sandalwood, sage, tonka bean. It smells very masculine and it's freaking awesome. The Java Rhino itself is only found now in Java, Indonesia. And the scents are reminiscent and pay respect to the Ujang Kulon National Park, where the Javan Rhinos now call home. But not only does Sanctuary create great smelling scents, 20% of the proceeds, again, are donated to help save the endangered species. So here's the deal, guys. Sanctuary is going to donate 20% of proceeds from each sale to help save the Javan Rhino, which is actually the most threatened rhino species, and there's only about 58 left in existence. With that going for habitat preservation, also the education and empowerment of local communities, it's a great way to smell great and do great things. And that's why Sanctuary bottles are actually used making lightweight PIR glass and the packaging is 100% recycled. So definitely head to hellosanctuary.com and use that code JOEL20, yes JOEL20, to get 20% off off your order. From three! Yay! Get your stuff ready guys, you cannot touch the tacos. You cannot touch them. Okay, you must finish all the food in your mouth to count the taco point. At the very end, you cannot, by any circumstance, get any help to eat the tacos. That's a given, right? No, no. Oh, All meat that. drops off the taco needs to be eaten. Okay. Oh, to make that point calm. So if you drop a taco, if you eat, drop that little piece of pastor, believe it, you literally like, okay, you pick it up and you eat that. Oh my God. You, 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 you gotta eat it <laughs> in order to count, all right? Any contestants breaking any of these rules will be automatically disqualified with no refund of your money, okay? So who's ready to get this going? All right, we're gonna go ahead and count it off. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go! Hey everyone, welcome to this video for today. We're here at Tacos Locos. Yes, in San Angelo, Texas, here at their first taco eating contest. So this was the king of the taco eating contest and this was celebrated around Mexican uh, Independence Day. So basically pretty straightforward. Uh, whoever ate the most tacos in the five minutes was going to win. Of course, as we mentioned, there was a first, second, and third prize. First prize being $500, second prize being $100, and third prize being a like uh, taco loco kit cup and like kind of some swag and stuff and i guess with the cup you always got like half off drinks or something and they had like a large variety of different agua frescas or like fresh waters flavored waters um, flavored drinks you know jamaica um horchata and they had banana drinks they had a watermelon like sandia they had all kinds of awesome flavored drinks One minute in, guys. Let's give it up.
So the tacos themselves were little Mexican street tacos, um, basically just consisting of an El Pastor, and then they had, um, you know, the toppings there if you wanted it. And yes, my camera just got bumped, and it's gonna be worse. <laughs> But luckily my camera was not uh, ultimately affected too bad and we at least got an angle there without me having to adjust too much um, during the contest. Um, but yeah, very delicious food with the tacos. Again, if you're not familiar with Trumpo, which is where they basically um, place all the different marinated porks onto a big spit, cook it, um, you know, on a, like a spit, right, you know, a revolving spit, and they shave it off. It's very delicious. Um, it is definitely something you'll see throughout Mexico. And here they have one, which is awesome. This place also has an all-you-can-eat tacos. I believe it's every Tuesday, which is amazing because, like I said, this is really, really good food. The quality of food for this contest was exceptional. Often in contests, the quality can be a little lackluster, but I will say time and time again, every time I bit into one of these tacos, it was a very pleasant and enjoyable mouthful of delicious taco flavors. And with that, let me know your favorite kind of taco down below. I honestly do think mine might be an El Paso store taco. We have two minutes left, guys, two minutes left. Look at your peak of the taco. We had my friend uh, Albert right beside me, who is a really good competitive eater, uh, local to Texas. He definitely does a lot of sh uh, contests around. And then we had a variety of other individuals, uh, mostly locals to the San Angelo area, which if you're not familiar, San Angelo is kind of the biggest city in what I suppose you could probably call like West Texas, um, or at least one of the biggest cities. I think it is the biggest though. Um, really cool place. People are absolutely exceptionally friendly. We have real Texas hospitality. You have a great, strong uh, Mexican influence to have some authentic foods just like this here at Tacos Locos. And uh, the cuisine and everything else in the area was fantastic. And it's very, very beautiful as well. So like I said, if you've never been to San Angelo, I would definitely recommend it. Like West Texas is an awesome, awesome place. Um, again, we did start with the 20 tacos, and then they were going to bring out 10 at a time in the trays. So every time you kind of see me wave at them, I'm getting an additional 10 uh, tacos. And uh, yeah, but that's pretty much that. Pretty straightforward. I believe that's pretty much all the info I have for you, kind of the background. Um, so I'll let you get to the rest of the video. We'll ultimately see what happens. And uh, hopefully, like I said, we can get this win. Um, but yeah, huge thanks to all the staff here. Really cool place. And uh, like I said, great food, would definitely recommend stopping on by. So with that, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. 30 seconds left. 30 So every box is 20 and every Good little box taco. is five tacos. Yeah, let's give it up for these awesome guys here. Hey, let me hear you scream!
Knuckles. This is all. Who won his local cup? Albert won one hundred dollars. Joel Hansen won five hundred dollars, guys. And then Jacob is the youngest one. Competitors. He also won a hundred dollars, bro. And just a reminder to use that code JOEL20 to save 20% off your order at Sanctuary, guys. Click that link down below in the video description and use that code to save 20% off your order today.